What do you think, guys? You want to critique his welds? He still got it. He likes to make it seem like what he does is hard. Hey, Cody, you want to weld this one and me hold the camera? Sure. <laughs> All right, so we're making a little bit of progress on the H body. Getting a door or a dash bar welded in currently. We already have door bars. They're, yeah, they're not in yet, but they're just kind of tacked into place. This is actually the cage that we cut out of the Regal. Um, as always, now we're starting to see that maybe we got a little bit of a time crunch to accomplish everything we want to do with having the Ranger over here that we haven't even started on yet. Um, instead of going through the time of building a bolt-in cage like we'd like to, since we're probably not going to run a bunch of H bodies, this is just a, a test really, um, you might as well just throw a cage in it that was already cut out of another car, we'll weld it in good and make sure that the car is still going to be safe and be able to make it a little bit faster than going through the time of building a bolt-in. I would prefer to have a bolt-in cage on all of my cars, but and we're getting there. We're just using up the stuff that we, like you just said, we've already previously hacked together. So yeah, might as well hack it again since we kept gonna, it. Yeah. We'll and you know what? When we're done with this car, we'll cut this shit out too. I mean, it's just yeah. you might as well keep it. And when you run a goofball oddball car, which we are still gonna do, might as well have that material available to maybe be able to use once again. So we'll get this uh, cage finished off. Well, we've got the door bar is. The seat bar is right here, so we're going to get that measured up, see if it fits. If not, we'll hack it down, and uh, we'll get you an update here in just a minute. Holy cobble job, Batman. Hey, it's looking pretty good. All right, so to make this work last time, because this bar was too short, to go into the Regal, we added that piece right there and then these guys out here to get the length right because another whole one of these wouldn't fit there and we added one of these on that side and now Adam is adding two more of these so that we can make it wide enough to fit in the each body what do you think? I think it's slow neat spec it looks good to me It'll probably be easier to put in once it cools off because it'll shrink. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, Adam's lying. <laughs> Our ground cable was smoking. I think that might need a little so bit of help. <laughs> Adam was ringing over there. Is it Kim? Yes. Hi, Kim. You hate me anyway, so I doubt you're watching our videos, so I can say hi, Kim. <laughs> she watches the videos, believe it or not. And probably rolls her eyes the entire time. Yes, 100%. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, I love you. <laughs> he talks shit about you all the time while he's here while we're <laughs> off camera, but that's beside the point. Uh, Alright, so are we getting this thrown in yet tonight? Are you bailing? Toss her in there. Alright, let's get this thing in. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Alright, so we're actually a different day here. We call it good. A um, couple days ago working on the cage. Um, I've been working a little bit on the Ranger. Uh, not too much, you'll get an update on that here in just a bit. But I figured I wanted to wrap up this H-Body uh, video here quick. Um, well, things have settled a little bit. Let me grab my light. We've got the cage in. Dash bar's in. Door bar on that side. There we go. Floating tank. So, overall we're ready to... You know, we got to finish up some welds on this. I actually started, so that's why I popped in with the camera before Adam gets here. So I welded a little bit. Let's we'll see if he complains. Ignore that piece. That one Adam did. But I started going down the door. That's probably hard to see. Yeah, on the inside there. So we'll see if he complains about the welds once he gets back in here. We'll get one last little update on uh, his thoughts on how things are going with the build and uh, call this one a video and then we'll uh, move over to a Ranger update here in a bit. The Wisconsin can koozie. This is what happens Wait when minute, those are bottles. Start over. <laughs> we don't start over. <laughs> the Wisconsin bottle cozy koozie. What? Whatever. This is what happens when your beer is warmer than the snow that you set it on. After you let it sit there for a while, 
Nothing like a good old Liney's Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. That's Jesus's right. Jesus' ba base ba basement. basement, not basement, bathtub. bathtub. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, just in case y'all weren't aware. First off, Liney's, awesome company. So for you folks all around the country that don't necessarily have Liney's, tell your, oh man, you broke yours. Tell your grocery store you need it. Um, Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. This stuff is brewed in Jesus' basement. He does it himself and then puts it in the bottle for Liney's, but it's only out in the wintertime. Good stuff. Happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> That's why it's only out around Christmas. Um, <laughs> Ugh, it tastes horrible. <laughs> Adam doesn't have a taste for good beer. So, these folks just got <sighs> informed that uh, we were going to get your take on what the plan is. We got a gasoline around here. Wait, hold on. Did you just drink out of my beer? <laughs> Which one's yours? The one that's open, genius. <laughs> that would be correct. Yes, I did. It's all right. You can have it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh. Next steps, Adam. What are we working on? Another drink. What are we going to see in the next video? Ah. Uh, because we're calling this one a video after you're done blabbing. I think we should finish this car up. Well, yeah, obviously, but I don't think we're going to finish it up in one video. Oh, that's true. It's a little chilly. I move slower. I go from crackhead speed to molasses <laughs> real quick. Adam's not a fan of the cold. Just about finished welding the cage in there. Uh, again, we didn't do a bolt-in. We pieced together some other pieced together cages. This is the fun that happens after two seasons of cages. This is how you fill some spaces. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Space fillers. Not going to hurt anything there. So. So we're going to throw a tank in it. Let's get a pump and some lines. Um, do a little magic underneath the hood. Hooking those up. Get some electrical moved. and. Yep. And then uh, <laughs> this is one of the cleanest dashes we've ever had in a mid-sized car. Oh, for sure. Other than the AMCs because they were carbureted. This is, this is nice. I mean, there's a lot of room for things not to go wrong, hopefully. Perfect. Let's so get a battery box in it. And yeah. Color good. Hopefully by the end of the next video you should uh, we should have this thing running. Uh, we can't really run it much right now because it doesn't have any gas in it. So since I got to take the tank out of it, figure there's no point in putting gas in it. So They're a lot easier to take out when they're empty too. Yes. So, we'll see you soon. Uh, next video you're going to see an update on the Ranger. Ranger. Appreciate you following along as always. Get goosed.